Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a collective timeless reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your emails of confirmation, your emails of booking. Um, let's get straight into this because when I asked um, your ancestors or the ancestors to come through and I asked what the message was, I just heard peace and this one keeps coming out and it says dance with life, do something to change your energy. Okay, and you also have the crumbling. So this tower, someone is pushing against this tower. Someone doesn't want this tower to come come forward. Okay, and with peace coming out, it's almost being at peace with yourself. Okay, or this light one, or it could be someone who's unhealed. Okay, is be at peace with whatever tower comes towards your door. Okay, knowing that you know someone is trying to serve you something do not let it um roll you up do not let it um put you in fight stance is what i'm hearing okay let's see what wants to come out please and thank you and we've also got um imra imrama where are you being called to journey to okay somebody um there's some sort of healing that someone needs to do because you've got here, align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change. Okay. When towers come to us, they come to us because there's change that is needed. Okay. It is moving timelines. It's moving you to the best possible timeline that you can be on for your healing and for your growth and for your abundance. Okay. And you've also got priestess upside down and keepers of the earth. Okay. How are you being called to step up and lead? All right. You have somebody who is a dark priestess or somebody who is a priestess who isn't stepping up, um, not to the mark, but stepping up and leading with their heart chakra. You also have keepers of the earth. You're not alone. The ancestors are beside you. Okay. Someone's not listening to their ancestors or someone's ancestors have just been blocked off. Take it as it resonates. And remember, this is a general reading. So if that doesn't resonate for you, please don't take offense. Okay, you've got pillars of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. And it's upside down. Somebody's either been slandering your name, saying that, you know, your insight isn't um, worthy to listen to. Or someone is in doubt about their own intuition. Okay. And when I say take it as it resonates, um, some people have been messaging saying, you know, well, how do I know how it resonates? You have to lead with your heart space. You have to lead with your intuition. Okay, and it says star seeds. It's almost like if you're watching Netflix and you're flicking through loads of different shows and you don't know which one to pick, at some point you're going to pick one to see whether or not it's for you. That's the same as when I say take it if it resonates. If you watch one of my videos or you watch collective readings and you're listening to this, do not listen to it out of fear. You need to listen to it and it, it, it's either going to be a story for someone else or there are things in there that, you know, you can link to your own life. And if it links to your own life, you have to lead with your intuition. Never let fear govern, okay? Because you've also got star seeds, what lights you up? And then you have your not alone, your ancestors are standing beside you and it's upside down. Someone's, been actually, someone's being urged to either rep repent or to let go of something, okay? And to actually know what their calling is or to follow their passion's lead. Okay, there's an activation here that, you know, we're going through Lionsgate and it's all about heart space healing as well as your solar plexus and your solar plexus is your place of personal power and joy, but your heart space is how you connect to others, how you connect to yourself and some, you know, again, dance with life is coming out. Okay, someone needs to change the way that they perceive themselves and how they perceive um, others is something to do with forgiveness here. We've definitely got something to do with forgiveness. Longing for home, belonging to the original light workers. Someone's put a block in here. And it's either a block in the intuition of a light one, so that they don't so they're, they're leading with fear, or they're worried about taking that that step, that you know, that full card of a new beginning. And change is always scary, especially when we don't know what we're, it's changing into. But there has to be a measure of faith even if that's just in yourself okay because no matter our age we've got to where we are because we've had faith whether that's in something higher or even if it's just in ourselves you know 
because this this um this channel is for all it's not just for those who are religious or spiritual it's for those you know you have people who are atheist and you know believing in yourself is one of the strongest things that you can do because if you don't believe in yourself how can you believe in something higher as well do you know what i mean and you've also got breaking the chain ancestral pattern healing rewriting the future longing for home belonging the original light workers there's definitely someone trying to put a block in here someone is trying to put doubt whether that is doubt the light one having a doubt in themselves or someone trying to put something there as a challenge okay boundaries and breaking the chain someone needs to let go of something without a doubt because someone is trying to invade boundaries and space okay and this is reminding me again of the previous video that i did about cord removals okay so this can be a person it can be an event it can be a memory it can be a timeline that you're no longer on okay but someone's being asked to do some heart space work with boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries okay and protection setting up those boundaries are going to protect you a lot more okay and you're getting this message also from your soul family call in your tribe you don't have to do this alone somebody here is unhealed and that doesn't mean that because you're listening to this and you know you class yourself as a light one that you are so unhealed that you know judge 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 no one's judging you okay this could also be somebody who has fallen off of their path somebody who has been sending malicious energy to a light one this seems to be a message also for you if you are somebody who is unhealed that has been sending things because of insecurity or you know been sending things and you're now seeing the karma coming up in the you know the 3d realm you're being asked to set better boundaries for yourself okay where is it that you hurt where is it that you are accepting things that are not worthy for you because you're being told that you know your protection says call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval someone's being asked to do soul retrieval someone's being asked to um connect with their i am presence and to actually connect with their own soul family okay break the chains because someone is definitely going through a karmic cycle at the moment do you want me to take this out no warrior woman you have answered have you answered your deepest calling okay this is the divine telling whoever this adversary is to the light one you are not on your right calling you're being asked to forgive yourself and ask for atonement okay so that you can step onto your own path so you can step onto your own path it's never too late to do so it's never ever too late to do so and we've also got I'm a grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, a divine plan, and it's upside down. It's almost like whoever this person is that has been doing this to a light one has missed out on the opportunities to create their own abundance and to find out what their own blueprint is. What is their blueprint for their purpose? Okay, share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution and expression. Someone needs to speak their truth. Someone needs to speak their truth because you again you've got here Mikata, Mi, Min Takan longing for home, belonging the original light workers. You have somebody here also who is a dark empath, somebody who could have used their gifts for good, for service to the collective consciousness, but decided not even decided was governed too much by fear and by pain, and ended up going down the wrong path okay because pillar of light has come out again yeah they chose the wrong path and the divine is urging you right now to start forgiving yourself but also to ask for forgiveness because it's not so much about whether that forgiveness is accepted by others it's taking that step it's not pushing against a tower that's already crumbling it's going genuinely these are the things that i have done and i need to atone for them whether or not that is accepted by who it has been done to the boundaries are coming out again okay where do you need to, to um, establish better boundaries and this is also for the light one whoever it is that's coming forward you need to set better boundaries because you may know this person you may have loved this person you may not know them at all However, you're being told to set boundaries. So if this person does want to come forward and apologise, that's fine if they want to come forward and apologise, and it's a genuine apology, but you're being told to um, keep yourself protected, okay? Because it's almost like a, it's a double message. 
for those who are unhealed, those who are on the wrong path. Forgiveness is key to protecting yourself and to healing. However, you can't expect that if you have been doing something to a light one, let's say for the entire of their life, um, that they're going to turn around and go, oh, everything is, is forgiven. But the first step to healing is admitting that you've done something and actually seeking forgiveness, whether or not they accept that. And on the other side, you have a light one, or this is addressing the light ones, that if someone does come forward, you don't have to accept it if you don't want to, but it's not holding on to bitterness. Okay, because look, take a break. It's a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. And you've also got the Council of Light, divine orchestrations help us in a subtle realm. Somebody's been working too hard for a very long time. Look, family, or to do with your home, or to do with certain houses in your birth chart, to kind of sway you towards the dark side. You know, warrior woman's coming out again, and soul family. This is also a time of healing, whether you are on the light path or not on the light path, because we are going through Lion's Gate. And with that, it's going to open up heart spaces for all, for all. And with this, have you answered your deepest calling? This is also to the light ones. Is there any adjustments that need to be made? Because with Lion's Gate and this energy shifting, we're all going through a change. Okay, none of us are completely healed. That is a life's work or life's work. You know, what is it that needs to be changed? Have you stepped up to exactly what it is that you want to be doing in your life? And it's okay if you're not. It's actually okay if you're not because we all learn and heal and grow at different paces. But it says come out of the cave, persecution and expression. Okay, that one definitely wants to come out as well. Anything else from here? I've been told to open it. Starseed, what lights you up? What lights you up? This is not only for light ones, this is also for whoever it is that's the adversities or adversaries. What is it that actually lights your heart space up? Not surface level things, not money, not cars, not power. What lights you up? What did you want to do when you were eight years old? What did you do that gave you so much joy? What did you want to be when you were a child? Because you need to focus on that rather than focusing on you know, bringing down other people because of jealousy or insecurity, which we all go through, you're being called to actually nurture yourself. You're being called to nurture yourself. Look, align your life. What is not aligned and needs to change? This is coming out again. How interesting. And that's an interesting turn of events, isn't it? And let's see what wants to come out. Do you want me to take these? You've got someone here who's at a distance, okay? Or someone who's very distant... From their own heart chakra their own space and you've got bad parents someone who blames their parents for how they've turned out or the actions that they've taken now and especially with this all coming out we can blame others for the pain that we feel but we hold that pain and it's up to us what we do with that pain whether we take the time to face it even if it is scary or to hold on to it and still point fingers at others and you've also got this person as human trash. So this person may actually feel like this about their own parents. They may be distant to their own parents or um, a light one may be called to create distance between a parent that didn't treat them very, very well, okay? Because here with share your voice, there is a conversation that may need to happen between either a light one or someone who has, hasn't started their healing at all with somebody that they feel like their, their, you know, their main care provider did not treat them with love, did not treat them with respect. And look, you've got correcting the way you speak. Maybe this person was made to speak a certain way, was not allowed to speak out, whether that is you, a light one, or someone who's unhealed. You've also got Jasmine. Okay, on the back it says, abundance, joy, sensuality and attractiveness, sexual healing and relaxation. Okay, someone may want to use jasmine in incense, they may want to use incense in an oil or something to smell because it may actually help them with any trauma that they may have. Because with sexual healing here as well, this could be to do with abuse when they were younger. This could be to do with abuse now. Um, with sensuality and attractiveness, this is about loving yourself as well. Okay, and Malachite upside down. Now Malachite, it doesn't have anything on the back, but I know that Malachite is very, very good for um, traumatic transitions 
and for transitions altogether. This is very, very good for um, children and young teens that are going through, um, you know, their parents separating or having to move school or something big happening. So someone may be called to actually look at this crystal, malachite, and look at this, this um, herbal plant, jasmine, to help with inner healing, especially wounded inner child, okay? Anything else that wants to come out? This one over here, let's have a look. Now we've also got, now this one, it says the gloves are off and it's upside down. Somebody is exhausted. They're completely exhausted with this fight. And maybe also, this is this is almost, almost pulling someone to look at past wounds where maybe they, they weren't, um, how do I put this? It wasn't a fair fight because this is looking at like past trauma of some sort. There's some sort of repressed trauma here that is being asked to be addressed. And look at the fact that, you know, any experiences that we have when we're children, where we don't feel safe, it isn't a fair fight, whether or not there's abuse or not, whether it is just, you know, not having enough attention from our parents, being felt um, like we're not valued, it's never a fair fight because we are children and they are our main care providers. It could be bullying at school, it's not a fair fight, whatever it is. Um, whoever this is for and whoever this resonates with, they're being asked to, if it resonates, have a look at crystals that help, have a look at herbs that will help, but there is definitely healing that needs to be done, okay, because whoever it is that's been sending this malicious stuff is losing their sight, and that can be losing sight physically, going blind, it could be losing their sight of themselves, okay, or it could be losing completely their spiritual gifts, okay and unbound this person is tied to past um past experiences there may be some soul fragmentation that's happened here where parts of us have just been left in a timeline that was too traumatic to carry with us okay and that may be why we have soul family coming out here and soul retrieval someone needs to do soul retrieval whether that is therapy with a licensed professional and please remember that i am not a licensed professional um so please take any advice that i give you with your own discernment but go and see a licensed professional first and you've also got the book of lost souls somebody seems to have it's like they've lost themselves with all of the stuff that they've been doing, they've lost themselves. And there is some sort of book here that has a, has notes on all the people that they have targeted. Or maybe they've been shown now that book with every single person and they're experiencing the pain of what they've done to so many. Wow, because the thing, wow. Okay, the ancestors are being a bit harsh here. It says, congratulations, you deserve it. Pat yourself on the back. This is also reminding that, you know, karma will come in any form at any time that it wishes to, whether that is positive or negative. And here you've got congratulations, you deserve it. Pat yourself on the back. Someone is now coming into the realization maybe that they've done this to themselves. And these ancestors are saying, yeah, you did. And it says, I can't get no sleep. This person is now staying up because they may be having night terrors or nightmares about what they have done. Okay, and this is also calling to any light ones that um, are not able to sleep because of past trauma. You're being asked to focus on that, whether that is doing, you know, automatic writing, just writing down as self therapy. Um, but there is something that needs to be focused in the heart space, and it says chop it off upside down. So there may be um, sexual abuse that is also part of this. You've got a Pisces upside down. This is your 12th house. And this is to do with um, it's to do with karma. Because Pisces is the last house before you go into the first one. So it's about beginnings and endings. Someone is being told that they need to look at some sort of karmic cycle that they are keeping themselves stuck in. And they need to start looking at that and healing that or they're going to stay there. Okay. And you've got here. I don't know if that's supposed to be in there. Let me see. What wants to come out? return it it's not yours all right up or down i've been told to turn it that way so somebody has been trying to do return to senders they're trying to return the stuff that they sent out and it's just been bounced back that won't work it won't work if it's your energy it's going to come back to you solidite i don't actually know what solidite is used for 
What am I being told? Because I'm hearing something to do with your heart, but also to do with um, sleeping and grounding. And someone is five finger grass, okay? Because you've got here healing, luck and magic, freedom and liberation. Someone may actually find using this will help them with whatever they are trying to heal and let go of. I'm going to keep this one really, really short today. So let's have a look at this one here. Okay, yeah. You've got here happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay. Somebody's very, very upset also, I think, because whatever it is that they were doing, it's like they wanted to keep someone with them. They wanted they were happy in their illusion that they had placed with this surface level relationship. Okay, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. They may be reminiscing of when they first got with this person before it all went downhill, is what I'm hearing. But look, it got endings, bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. Someone that's going through grief over a breakup or the fact that they weren't able to keep someone in their home. And I'm hearing when they live together. Okay, and you've got separation, yeah. Someone is definitely grieving over a separation. Okay, and maybe they need to use these herbs and these crystals to help them heal. Because their mask slipped off. Not showing true feelings. Hide person personality, pretend, delude, and gaslighting, and it's upside down. They may have also seen who this person is, or maybe they've seen a reflection of themselves and realized it wasn't who they pretended that they were. Addiction, okay? This person was codependent, all right? This person was very, very codependent on whoever it was that they were with. Okay, so the masks have completely dropped, not only to other people, but to themselves. And you've got coffin coming out again. This person may be very, very sick. Okay, this person may not be able to breathe well because you've got um, Cupid's arrow upside down. There's a love spell that they try to do that it, it bound back onto them and it's made them really sick. Kisses, unconditional loving and abundance. All they've done is made the abundance of a light one better. They've brought in this divine masculine or divine feminine a lot quicker than they would have. Yeah, someone's getting married. This person is torn up over the fact that they haven't been able to stop a um, divine union from happening. Okay, engagement, partnership, um, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. They wanted to keep somebody under the love spell, but I heard the jar was empty. And you've also got dragonfly, be lighthearted. This person's very, very depressed now, okay, at seeing your happiness and your expansion. And a co-runner in a dependent relationship, fear of intimacy. And it's upside down, okay? I feel like their mask was ripped off and whoever they were with just left, okay? They found out that they weren't actually twin flames with this person. This person may for a very long time, yeah, look, because that was up like a house. They put some sort of um, illusion on the house that they were living in. And I heard lost it all. And you've got here, you, look, it's also, again, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. And it's upside down over here. Whoever it was that they were with either unbound themselves, realised that they were bound and just left. Okay, the snake. They found out the truth. They found out the truth of why this person had so much money or why this person was so abundant. How interesting. And I heard took the house with them. Okay. I like you. Okay. You've also got I like you. Maybe this person left to come towards you. I'm going to keep this really short because I have a feeling that my partner's going to walk through the door any minute now. So let's have a quick look here. You have, um, when your astrological information is added to your birth chart, you will see a series of interconnected lines, numbers and symbols representing the star signs. This person was studying you for a very, very long time. It's almost like they wanted to be you. And I heard, but I never will. I never will. Someone needs a lot of healing here. Someone needs a lot of healing. It's coming out again. Yeah. Somebody was looking at your birth chart and seeing how they could mimic it so that they could be the, um, the, the twin flame. And you've got Scorpio here. Okay, this is all about releasing emotions. 
and you've also got here pisces impressionable changeable and dreamy they've done something to um it was something about like a dream attack or trying to make it so that this person that they were with would only dream about them but then the jig may have been up when this person started you know whoever they were with was connecting with you in the astral realm and they heard them say your name your sun sign describes your zodiac personality and your moon sign represents your emotional or inner self this person yeah this person may have mental health issues this person may have mental health issues and the only reason i say that is because it's almost like they were night and day they changed and whoever they were with realized this taurus slow steady and capable okay and what's underneath here bad parent they were spending money maybe this person is a single mother themselves or a single father and this person was spending money on themselves and not spending it where they should have taking care of their own child and i heard they slow me down like the child slows me down and you've also got leos again so this is fifth house okay and you've also got gemini there was a lot of arguments in this house there may have been arguments after they they heard their partner speaking your name or saying your name and i heard it's not fair yeah leo coming out again magnetic enthusiastic and driven they were with somebody just for the money and the book of lost souls this person was very driven in continuing what they were doing because they felt very very protected and aries yeah very very protected I'm going to stop that there because I know that my, my partner's about to come in. I'll do a part two. I hope this gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you're new to my channel and you liked what you heard, um, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe, and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content. I've just realised there's a stain on here. That is actually from what I was drinking. I was drinking some water. Um, if you would like to have um a personal reading i'd love for you to just have a look in the description box because all my information is there if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much you make this all worthwhile i love you guys and i'll see you later bye